Salutations, wet shave the Spencer here back for not a shave video, but the soap run through. So today I'm gonna to be going through my soaps. So I've got the camera set up now, but I'm gonna take the camera off and then just show you just from my point of view running in through here because it's gonna be a little bit too much effort pulling these out individually and going up and showing the camera. So I think it might be a little bit easier just to grab the phone itself and just pull out drawers and show you the soaps. Either that or I could maybe put the drawers out on the floor and then, then just do it in the hand again. Might do that, I'm not too sure. I'll have a little think about it. Just relaxing with my coffee, thinking about how I'm gonna do this. Looking at my brushes, loving them, test lathering them. I'm really enjoying the bowl, it's really good. Mitchell's wool fat, woo -hoo. I've been doing test leathers with that, holy shit. I'm really, you know, uh, fine tuning Mitchell's wool fat, so you'll probably see a video of that very soon. So, I think that's it. Back to me in the handy cam, we are going to run through all my soaps today. Might take a little while, I think I've got, all these drawers are full. I've got some soaps over here if you can't see them that don't actually fit in my drawer, they normally just go in the cupboard, so anyway, let's jump to me in the handy cam. And here we are guys, we've got all my shelving all just put down on the floor here, so these are all my soaps here, just another sip of coffee. Mmm, nice way to make single origin coffee pretty bad, put them in a pod. Anyway, so we come down here. And on the left here, we've got all my Australian private reserves. So, got Idoru, which is very limited edition. I think only seven were made. And so I've got all those and all the aftershave splashes there as well. So the ones next to each other, they should be all next to each other. There with the corresponding aftershave. And we've got all my Shaver Heaven. So I've got Arctic Mango which has no menthol whatsoever. <laughs> I, I literally can't feel it. And we've got Citrus Garden and Fantasia. And we've got Barbershop, Forbidden Forest. I'm pretty sure Forbidden Forest would be my favorite. It just smells like grass. And First Anniversary, which is like a tangerine and black pepper. Really, really nice. And then, so that's my top shelf stuff. Oh, just kick the chair. And then we've got my second one, so we've got Squadron Soaps. So we've got Squadron The Warden, Group Captain's Blend, that's my favorite. Chocolatey vanilla, gorgeous tobacco. Ace, which is sort of like PAA Gondolier. If you like that scent, you'll love this. Dutch Resistance, if you like licorice, you'll really like that, but I don't. <laughs> and here we have the Sudsy Soapery Citrus and Bay. This is insane. The performance is ridiculous, but scent, not really my thing, but it's still very nice. It's basically orange peel. That's what it smells like to me. With Bay Run, and we have Simpsons Cafe Latte shaving cream. This is probably the most dollopy shaving cream closest to a liquid that I've got, so you can probably shake it around. Squadron Soaps A Di Astra. If you like gin and tonics, that smells exactly like a gin and tonic. Now this is one of the new scents from Parasso. I got this a while ago from Gifts and Care for a good price. It's pretty much exactly the same as, show that label there, as L'Occitane Cade. It's the same price, but it's like three times the size. It's massive. Look at that, 9.5 ounces of cream. <laughs> This smells awesome. Cypress and vetiver. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. We've got lavender. This is a classic and is amazing performer once it loads. Loads. <laughs> Focuses. Um, I've got the matching aftershave splash as well, which is stunning. True Fit and Hill. 1805. Beautiful, nice light scent on this. Kindly scent from Chris at Another Cut Above. Shout out to you, Chris. Thanks, mate. And then we have Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Lime. Beautiful lime scent on that, gorgeous. Um, I, I, did, I have had their Moroccan Myrrh, or whatever they call it. That's really nice as well, and their Sandalwood. Looks 10K, this is like $40 for this thing. 
So that's 5.2 ounces, and then the other one is 9.5, so almost double for the same price, including shipping from Gifts and Care. So check them out. Parasso, one of the tops of all time. The red, my favorite. The green, which has by far the most taken out of it. I'll see if I can get a shot of, like that, I'm almost at the bottom. I'm gonna get that ring of death soon. Let me put that lid back on. And so they are the Parasos. I've got the white as well. That's just underneath this, which is fantastic. Holy shit. Mystic Water Soap, Irish Traveller. This is out of the out, out of the water. This is out of the water good. It's really fantastic stuff. Parasso white which for some reason has a loose lid, it will not stay on, but, well, okay, it stays on there, but that's fine. <laughs> it's very loose. I'll throw that back down there. Fine accoutrements, American blend. Beautiful quality soap, love it. Fantastic to use. And then we got another cream here by Jack Black. Supreme cream. I wanna like it, but I, I, I f it feels amazing for the skin, but it doesn't have a lot of cushion. The slickness is okay, but the cushion is not. Sorry if my hand's really shaky, guys. <laughs> We've got Chella, which I don't like the scent of. I'm not a huge... They, it says almond, but I don't smell any almond. All I smell is cherry for me. Dapper Dragon. Once again, from Chris at Another Cut Above. This is the watermelon scent. Smells exactly like watermelon chewing gum. The five gum watermelon, it smells exactly like that. Art of Shaving, sandalwood. This is fantastic. Really like that cream. Really, really nice. And we got the, these Old Spice creams that I just bought on eBay for a really cheap price. Got the original, musk and fresh lime. They work okay. All right, that's all those. We'll come over to my third drawer. You're gonna see my gorgeous leg. <laughs> all right, so up here we have a brand that I am trying to get more of. Uh, I was speaking to Oive, he said he was gonna send me some, but he hasn't contacted me. Might have forgotten, I'll send him a message later. Soap Commander Vision, Aqua, Amber and Mint. Beautiful soap. The performance is fantastic. I love the tubs, they're so different. There's nothing that I've got that is very similar to this. I think closest would be the Art of Shaving that I showed you before. The labeling, very nice. It's not my favorite. I do have a favorite for labeling, but still right up there. Soap Commander Vision, awesome. Here's one of Chris's old favorites, K Shave Works Grape Alicious, and the scent on this is Fucking brilliant. <laughs> it really is awesome. I started getting a reaction. It wasn't too bad. So I quickly wiped it off and I put it back in the drawer. So I've got to use this soon uh, just to see if it reacts with my face again. I've been shaving daily for a long time now. So hopefully it'll be okay on my face. LNL Grooming. This is another wicked soap. Performance, just fantastic. Love it. Oh, I remember. Oh, I didn't get this long ago. I can't remember if I've done a video on this. Ozark. Oh, I really want to smell this. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I remember smelling that. Oh, that smells brilliant. It reminds me of a deodorant that I had, but I can't remember what. Oh, I can't. What is this based off? If you guys know what this soap is based off, let me know. Because I've smelt that before and it's amazing. Speaking of amazing smells, tobacco. What in my top three for scents in the den, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this stuff to death and the performance kicks ass. Another kick ass brand, Hustlinger. Ringle Blumen, Razor Safe. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Some weird ass scent. <laughs> I much prefer the sheep's milk formula. That's, you know, one of its top stuff though, like amazing performance. 
and we've got some metal tins here. So we have Fuzzy Face Soaps Dragon Blood. Uh, this is incense smell that I got from Chris at another cut above again. Thank you, mate. Also the LNL grooming. Awesome. Pretty sure I got vision from him too, to be honest. And Whisperer from the Woods. This is another fantastic soap. Bergamot, uh, clary sage, and geranium. Really nice. Feels really high quality on the face. And yeah, I've gotten awesome lalas out of this one. I don't think I've done a video on it. I think I have. I think I remember saying that it smells like a glue stick because that's what it does smell like to me. Which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, Henriette Victoria. Uh, absinthe. You know, name says it all. Smells like absinthe. Licorice sort of liqueur. Not too bad. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, I don't mind it. Quatre Saint Vinct. Another one from Chris. And same with the one underneath that, Cade. This, as you can see, a fougere with notes of cannabis flower. It smells amazing. Manny has been desperate for this. <laughs> you stoner. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been begging me for this. Mate, it doesn't smell exactly like it. It's it's very fresh smell though. You'll yeah, you would enjoy it. Uh, I did get a reaction to it, so he's been like, oh, do another uh, bloody lather it so then you can see if you get a reaction. And if I do, he's like, send it my way. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, L'Occitane Cade. That's just the big tub cream. So I've got that, that other one in there for travel and this one here. I get really good performance out of it, especially for a cream. Really, really good stuff. All right. Intrepid. This is the video that's uploading. Uh, I use this and it's fantastic. I love this soap. The actual performance is right up the top there. It's fantastic. I love it. Barrister and Man Reserve Fern. Oh, I love, love the scent of this. Just give it another whiff. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, I've only lathered it once, so pretty much brand new and works amazingly. Oh, we got another Shaver Heaven that I couldn't fit in that top drawer. Movember. Lemon, bergamot, lavender, and oak moss. I can smell all those in there. Shaver Heaven's good that way. Pretty much everything that they write on their notes, I can actually smell. All right, Hustlinger, this is a sheep's milk. Oh yeah, just smells like regular soap. I love it. This stuff is brilliant. Try to get your hands on some. They're cheap because they're just little pucks of soap. Fantastic. Windsor, this is cheap as this is yeah really cheap stuff but works a treat to be honest i like shave sticks they're really nice you sort of just dig them into your face and oh might use might use that in an sh upcoming shave it'll be nice to do a cheap shave like get my 34c or something with some asco or shark blades yeah. Yeah. i might keep that to the side actually i sort of want to use mitchell's wool fat but that's really good. All right, here is the one that Chris did a video on, Luscious, uh, Lambert's Luscious Moisture. I just, I think it's Luscious too, eh? It's not, it's Lambert's, but uh, with big imprint of Luscious, it just makes it look like that's the focus. Uh, New Zealand, what is that? Oaterola, Oaterora, uh, New Zealand. No idea how to say that. <laughs> But this stuff works a treat. It's really, really hard soap. And Buccaneer. Apparently, in Chris's video, he said Buccaneer was like a bay rum scent. I don't like... Well, I don't dislike bay rum, but it's not my thing. But this is completely different, in my opinion. So there's something else going on in there, and it's fantastic. Oh, this. Oh. This. <sighs> Le Père Lucien. Cypress Boise. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck that means. A Cypress. I think. No, I can't remember. Made in France. It's expensive stuff. I'm glad that I didn't pay just for this. I was going. Oh, like I wanted. This was one I was very excited getting because I got like a box set. And I cannot lather this to save my life. It's 
sucks. I've tried synthetics, badges, bores, everything, and I cannot lather this thing. It's a pain. So that sits at the bottom there. Fine accoutrement snake bite. My very first menthol soap I got. Oh no, because that uh, Paraso Green has a bit of menthol, but this was like, I wanted to go all out, get something real kick ass, so I got that. It's beautiful. Once again, fine accoutrements, fantastic stuff. Clubman Penaud, Penaud Clubman Shave Soap. Smells very similar to the aftershave. I love using that setup. It just, yeah, it's, it's real kick ass. Just smells fucking brilliant too. This, Wickham Soap Company Super Smooth. I love this stuff. Sheridan's, this one. I love the performance. It's fantastic. It just comes in these little plastic tubs that remind me of something. I think like Play-Doh tubs. Reminds me of Play-Doh tubs. Um, yeah, I've had fantastic results from this. I don't think Chris had fantastic results from them, which is a shame because I get ridiculous, ridiculous performance out of them. Put that to the side, go away. Uh, we've got Tobbs Sandalwood. This was sort of like an introduction into artisan stuff for me. Uh, it was one of the first that I got and the first time I smelt it, I could not stop laughing at how amazing it smelt. So sandalwood, that's brilliant. Um, Lee, if you've, if you've not got that, try it mate. Try it mate, it's real sweet. This, this stuff is awesome. Bluebeard's Revenge Shaving Cream. I used it for about almost two weeks straight because I loved it so much. So I've put a massive dent in this one now. This stuff smells, lathers really easily and smells... Did I already say smells? Smells great. <laughs> Eufros. Probably the top soap in my den in terms of performance. This stuff is ridiculous. I need more of these. If you have any that that uh, <laughs> willing to sell, let me know. Or if you wanted to trade for any of the stuff you've seen here, just send me a message and... If I don't love it too much, so if it's not something from here, <laughs> like in this shot here, um, nah, just PM me anyway. I'd, I'd really, really, really like this stuff. Fantastic. All right, so underneath these, we've got the Wolf Packs, and I love these soaps. These are Aussie Artisan uh, made soaps over at the Wolf Pack crew there. Um, I've got Ice Pack, Pinamite, which is my favorite. Uh, Italian Orchid and Morning Glory. These soaps are high, high quality. Fantastic. The scents are beautiful as well. Very high quality stuff. I love it. Fantastic. Top three. <laughs> Top three brands for me. Let me just reorganize this again. I know it's like still messily organized, but at least I know where everything is. Uh, I'll put that there. And put that next to the other Hasslinger tobacco. Sweet. Last but not least, these are pretty much um, just big tub artisan soaps. So we have one of my favorite scents, Gondolier PAA. I love this stuff. Uh, PAA, really for me, underrated. Uh, everyone was saying that they're overrated. I think the opposite, man. Like, through everyone um, giving um, hate over to PAA, I stick by them 100%. Their stuff is fantastic. Mm. Sorry, guys. Just had another sip of coffee. And then here, we have Sterling Soap Company Executive Man. The scent on this is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is a Creed Aventus-based scent. And yeah, amazing on the face. Sterling has great, great properties. Barrister and Man 42, another gorgeous scent. Petunias, Ambergris, uh, the Pangalactic Gargle Blaster. Uh, this is fantastic. Th this was made for a author who passed away and he made this for, for that. And we have here Cold River Soapworks. This is a Citrus V2. This is another monumental soap. Fantastic, 
beautiful, as it says, magnifique hydrator. Your face feels amazing because it's got tallow, lanolin, cocumin, shea butter. All of the highest quality pro um, properties in there. The poche feel is immense and the scent is pretty good. I'm not huge on citrus, but it's still really nice. Another one, lime soda. As, as it says, it does smell like lime soda. Really, really cool. And then we have maggots, limes and bergamot. Another beautiful scent. Um, really high quality performance too, actually. Right. So we got wintergreen on the bottom there as well. That's the glacial that kicks ass. In here, we have Wolf Spice by K Shaveworks for wolf whiskers. Amazing scent. Uh, it's, it's it's like a mix between tobacco and Old Spice to me, but mainly Old Spice. It's what it's aimed at. But Snow Dog, a beautiful wintergreen scent. I prefer this scent to wintergreen by Sterling. Um, but as as Chris said, this has very little menthol. Still got menthol, but you would expect it to be icy, but it's not. It's just cold. It's not icy. Mama Bears. Age Spice, this stuff is awesome. This smells really close to Old Spice, which is obviously what it's based off. And this, in the performance, fucking brilliant. I don't know what she puts in them because there's no ingredients or nothing, but whatever she's, uh, whatever she's doing, she's doing it right. And underneath that, we have this stuff. This is awesome. This is Traditional Barbers by Wall. Uh, which is a shaver shop exclusive, uh, so basically just Australia. I think they have them in New Zealand as well. Uh, shave cream, beautiful. Has parabens and stuff in it, but <laughs> don't give a shit, it works. And then underneath that, Barrister and Man Seville. That was the first Barrister and Man soap I ever got. Beautiful, I love that scent. Nice um, old school barbershop scent. Uh, it's that sort of citrusy, uh, based barbershop and I love it my favorite scent in the den absolutely power hammer I'm so sad this doesn't really work for me I haven't been able to get a good leather out of it at all moving on because I just get too upset crown king <laughs> I'm just joking uh, crown king steeplechase uh, that's a beautiful soap again amazing performance everything of the like um, we have OSP, sh uh, Barbershop Shaving Cream. I've heard their soaps are amazing. Their cream is pretty good. It's not too bad. I got that from Chris, I think. Um, yeah, I haven't had bad, you know, bad shaves with this one, but they haven't been crazy either. Now we have some Razor Rocks. Oh, God, I love Razor Rock. I love, love, love. Um, I have had a reaction once with Razor Rock soaps, but... No, that's fine. They're amazing. Because of the price, I think they are awesome. Triple X, gorgeous. Aqua de Geo, I think. One X, that, this just smells very soapy to me. Um, with a slight cologne back note, but yeah, it's not too strong. This is strong. The Stallion, very oody, gorgeous cologne. Masculine, love it. Anthony Esposito, you did an awesome job, mate. But then my favourite, Z Pepino. Gorgeous tobacco scent. Very, very sweet. I love this. Ah. All right, gorgeous razor rock. Last but not least, we have Wickham. This is the frankincense. I like the performance on this. Very good stuff. Um, highly recommend it. Beautiful soap for anyone to try out. I haven't heard of anyone have allergy issues with, with Wickham. So you can be pretty safe with those ones, but just be really careful with Razor Rock. A lot of people have issues with them, even me, but I still buy them. <laughs> because it, it doesn't burn me too much, it's, it's usable. By the way, these are just after shaves for Snow Dog and uh, Grape Delicious. Uh, so that's everything, that's all my soaps, guys. Ooh, no it's not. I'll be back in just a sec. Got this. <laughs> I'm just grabbing these ones from the side that I couldn't fit. Oh, almost forgot. These ones are my most recent acquisitions, except for Mitchell's Warfare. But here we go. 
We have St. James of London. This is the lavender and geranium. Comes in a gorgeous, gorgeous glass tub. It's amazing. This stuff performs really well. Sensitive skin shave cream. Good slickness, all the like. Really nice. These were kindly given to me again from Chris. Thank you, mate. We have Lake of the Woods, Elvado. Uh, Mayan Vanilla Almond, pretty good. And this is gorgeous. Royal Tahitian Lime. Amazing, amazing high quality creams. And then here we have the legend itself, Mitchell's Wool Fat. I love that soap, absolutely beautiful. Love using it. And here we have the winner for me in terms of labeling. Look at that. Boreal, Maya. So this is a like a very woodsy, very woodsy, spicy, gorgeous soap. This is their coffee. Doesn't say, don't take it exactly like coffee. It's got other heaps of other stuff in it. Um, yeah, oh, it's hard to explain. They are so difficult. Uh, Morocco. This is like a really like earthy, uh, floral, but it, it's it's like burnt woods. It's really nice. Really, um, sort of like campy. You know, when you go camping, like burnt woods, is some florals there. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's all my soaps, guys. Um, I hope you I hope you like them. Uh, is there something that you are desperate to see? Because I know a lot of them I haven't done videos on because I just haven't had time. <laughs> um, so that's everything there. Uh, I think that's everything for me today, guys. Uh, take care, stay safe, stay positive, and keep smiling, everyone. See you in the next show video. Catch ya.